In a moving show of support, Prince William and Princess Catherine have donated a London food bank after it was hit by a devastating theft that saw thousands of pounds worth of food and supplies stolen. The couple's generous gesture comes at a critical time for the food bank, which had been struggling to continue its services to vulnerable families in the wake of the crime. For Catherine, this marks her first public philanthropic act since returning to her royal duties following a period of recovery from cancer treatment. The theft, which took place earlier this month, left the food bank without much-needed supplies, including non-perishable food items, toiletries, and other essentials. The incident dealt a heavy blow to the organization, which plays a vital role in supporting families hit hardest by the cost of living crisis. With stock severely depleted, the food bank was facing a challenge to meet the growing demand in the community. A spokesperson from the charity confirmed the Prince and Princess of Wales made a private donation to the funds. A spokesperson from Pecan said, A huge thank you to Prince William and Princess Catherine who have donated to the recovery effort following the theft of 3,000 pounds of food supplies from South Wark Food BK. Kensington Palace confirmed the donation with a spokesperson saying, The Prince and Princess of Wales were deeply saddened to hear of the theft at the food bank and felt it was important to lend their support. They recognized the vital role that food banks play in assisting families during these challenging times and wanted to help ensure that this crucial service continues. The act of kindness comes as Princess Catherine make a significant return to public life after a period of reduced royal duties following her cancer treatment. Catherine, who has long been an advocate for mental health, early childhood development, and efforts to combat poverty, is no stranger to supporting causes close to her heart. Her donation to the food bank marks her renewed commitment to her charitable work and underscores her hands-on approach to tackling food insecurity. Princess Catherine's return to public duties with this meaningful gesture highlights the compassion and dedication that have defined her role as a member of the royal family. As she resumes her work, her focus on helping those in need remains as strong as ever. Her involvement in this cause is also a powerful reminder of the challenges faced by food banks across the UK, which have seen demand surge amid the ongoing economic crisis. Princess Catherine's return to royal life has so far been shrouded in mystery, but a royal expert has suggested that there are two potential dates on which she could make her return. If the date goes ahead, it means she would join the king and royal family at the Cenotaph. However, according to Nika, royal aides are also understood to be making separate preparations. He understands that Catherine could alternatively make an appearance at the Together at Christmas Carol service in Westminster Abbey. As the annual event is televised, it could be the case that she leaves a video message if she doesn't end up going in person. According to Nika, Catherine has been holding regular meetings with her private secretary, assistant private secretary, and the Wales's communication secretary to plan for the future. Speaking to a source back in August, historian Simon Heffer claimed Princess Catherine's return to royal life gives people hope for a bright future. Heffer said she enormously popular, and the fact that she turned up at Wimbledon and trooping the collar, I think he reassured people that she's not perhaps as ill as some of them feared. It's quite that she's being very ill and that her recovery is going to take some time. I think that it's made people feel more confident that the monarchy's got a bright future, and everybody wishes her a rapid and complete recovery. And it's been good for Moral to see that she can do these things now.